Hello everybody, today I'm going to be trying to help you all out, you know, try and keep you guys safe. And I'm going to be showing you how you can find out whether a Minecraft hacked client is a virus or not, and whether it is safe to use, stuff like that. There are always a few steps, and I'm going to be showing you guys a few different scenarios. Starting off with Iris hacked client, you guys might be familiar with that. Um, anyways, this is a pretty suspicious looking media fire link. You know, it's not really uh, any specific official download. You know, it's media fire. You really don't know. So we can just click on download over here. And now once we look at our downloads over here, you can see that Chrome is automatically going to block this for me. And it's going to block it because it says that it is dangerous or well, this really means that it is potentially dangerous. If you have a keep button right over here, then you can just feel free to click on that. Seeing as in most instances, it'll be completely safe to use. Now there are still other steps that you actually want to follow, but I'm going to quickly show you the other scenarios that might happen when you download something first off. Yeah, so the other obvious scenario is the fact that, you know, it might just not flag anything at all, and then you should most of the time just be good. Um, and there is actually another one, as you can see, I'm going to show you that with King's Cheats right over here. Um, I believe this has an embedded keylogger, I'm not 100% sure, um, but it is definitely a virus. And I can click on this download button over here. And instead of um, me being able to have the option to keep it, as you can see over here, Chrome is going to block it, saying that it is dangerous. And in this case, around 95% of the time, it is in fact actually going to be a virus. Um, so if this happens to you, then just click on this delete button over there. You do not want to install that on your device. Trust me, it's not worth it. If the antivirus that you have installed on your device starts spamming you with notifications that a virus has been detected, you best listen to it and probably uninstall whatever you just download. However, there's also another way to detect a virus. For example, if nothing got flagged at all in the first place, or if you were prompted whether to keep it or not. Now quickly, I just also did want to say that as you can see, I have the Iris 1.20 DLL here. And the reason that we got prompted that this may potentially be dangerous is because it is a DLL file or a dynamic link library. And, you know, that is a form that viruses actually often come in. Um, and also, this is also the form that basically all Minecraft Bedrock Edition hacked clients come in. So, you know, um, your device gets confused and thus DLL files will always automatically be flagged in some sort of way. Second step to determining whether something is a virus is joining my Discord server because not only do we have more than enough support here, as you can see, um, I also um, have all my tutorials archived and laid out for you if you um, want that. But also at the very bottom over here, I have a virus tab where I've not only linked um, probably, in my opinion, the best virus checker, which I'm going to show you in a second, um, but also some of the known viruses that we have around here. The Discord should be linked somewhere near the top of the description, and I'd greatly appreciate it if you could join it. Anyways, also linked there is Virus Total, which I just showed you a few seconds ago. And now this is really, really useful, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. Now the great thing about this is that this is not a program you install on your device or something, but it is purely through the internet and online, which is amazing. So you want to click on this Choose File button over here, and then actually I can go into my downloads and download download the iris dll which is the one that i just downloaded and now as you can see we are going to get a full report and now some people might freak out and say that it is a virus because we have this right over here but that is definitely not really the case so how virus total works is as you can see at this case it runs it through 71 online security vendors um, all of which can as you see um, be listed but they're all listed over here basically and as you can see um this one so the crowdstrike falcon as well as signet um flagged this file as malicious uh, however the well the remaining 69 of which i believe um as you can see five were not pros be able to process the file but so the remaining 64 um said that it was completely safe to use and now, you know, if two people 
say that something is not safe and 64 others say that it is completely safe to use, you can probably just go off of the fact that it is safe to use. Now I definitely start looking into this if it has any more than around 5 to 10 um, of these things flagging it as malicious. Anyways, 2 out of 71 is a pretty good score. Plus I feel safe that I have been able to determine that that, that iris DLL is in fact not a virus. Anyways, if you find any viruses then please feel free to not link them in the comments below but do tell me about them in the comments below as well as feel free to let me know uh, via Discord. Um, you know, so that I can just list them in my Discord server and that you can help me keep everyone safe. Anyways, if you do have any more questions or stuff like that, then feel free to put those in the comments as well. And for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Bye-bye.